Catherine, it's great to have you back on CNBC. Thank you very much for joining us on a on an optimistic tone on a Monday morning. Um, yep. When we go back to an office, whenever that is for the majority of us, what do you think that that office is going to look like? How will it shift according to the research and the companies that you are speaking to every day? Well, the, the first thing you have to take into consideration is employees aren't going to come back until they feel safe. So from the get go, it's going to be a staggered reentry, a very slow walk back into the work. And it has to be approached with a great deal of chariness. Um, from a practical standpoint, you're already seeing companies, companies like Steelcase, Herman Miller, H&I, and Noel that are coming up with solutions that create physical barriers between your traditional uh, kind of desking space. But what you're going to see more in the long term are a couple of different things. One's back to the future. You're going to see cubicles. You're going to see more space per employee, which has been dropping since 2000. And you're going to see more offices too. And finally, and it's something that you and I are dealing with right now, you're going to see a lot more working from home. And so when you look at a variety of different companies, some companies have already made the decision, hey, we're going to shift a huge percentage of our employees to work from home. And others, it may be more of a, a staggered office visit. Yeah, and I would argue that probably many of the people who do work in an office are probably sitting on a chair or something or a desk made by either Steelcase or Herman Miller. I would assume that they have already begun to adjust their product offerings to meet these new demands. What are they doing and what could the business look like? Well, uh, that's a great point. And I know a, a stat you can look at is a company called H&I, and they have had a 120% increase in their e-commerce business. And it's targeted to the small office and to the home office. Steelcase is one of the glo largest global manufacturers, and they're going to be working with partners like JP Morgan or Apple and Google to help accommodate both a work and home. So essentially giving employees the option, if you want to work from home, this is your workstation. If you want to work in the office, this is your choice. Uh, Herman Miller also has design within reach. So it also has an upscale version to be able to get products. And then finally, Knoll, um, with their fully acquisition, is, is, um, has options for working from home and from, uh, from the office. Yeah, yeah, very quickly. Is your research showing that we may be more spread out, that instead of a thousand people at one building, we could have three separate buildings with a couple hundred people in it each and a few of us working at home? And that will ultimately require more desks, more chairs, and maybe even, ironically, more space. Yeah, the number one thing you're going to see more of chairs, because I guarantee you, everyone who's sitting at home is realizing that their home office chair isn't really great. So you're going to see a significant increase in demand for good chairs um, at a reasonable price. You're, and you're, you're exactly right to the point. You're going to see uh, more office space. So the counterintuitive is the office is dead. We don't think it's dead. It's going to look very different over a long period of time. Uh, and ultimately, it could benefit the office furniture manufacturers.